Yo guys, so today I'm gonna teach you guys how to uh, macro in the hood. Um, there's different ways to do it, but I use an application because um, mouse macros kind of lag my computer for some reason. So, because uh, I have a really bad computer, but um, this is my macro. It's really bad right now. I swear it's not. It's never this bad. I swear. Um, it's just because I'm recording and my computer again is very, very bad, terrible. Like it's very bad. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it and how to set it up. So first you want to go to this website. I will leave it in the description and you want to download TG macro, scroll down and then tap TG macro portable. doesn't matter which one you tap. I prefer this one. You can download these two, but I don't, I don't know if it's any different. So just download this one. And then once you've done that, you can download this Roblox FPS unlocker. So basically what Roblox FPS unlocker does is every time you play Roblox, your FPS frames per second caps at 60. You cannot do anything to change that until you download this. Or you can go into the game files and do all that, but I wouldn't recommend that. So what this does is it uncaps your FPS. So it goes from 60 to whatever number, depending on how good your computer is. So if you're on a Dell laptop and it's very, very bad, you're probably not going to get that much FPS. But if you're on a high-end gaming PC with like a 30, 60 or something, you're probably going to get like 300, 400 frames. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not a mathematician, but I don't know. Um, you're probably going to get like up in the numbers. Me, I have a very bad computer, so I'm only getting 100. But I'm also recording. So I usually get like 140, 150. So what you want to do is you want to download it. To download it, you go to this website. I will leave it in the description as well. And uh, you want to download this. You want to tap this. And then it should pop up down here somewhere. Tap that file, open it, and then open it again. So it'll lead you into a folder with a thing called RBX FPS or something like that, something along those lines. When you open it, you should be good. And then it'll pop something down up, or I just hit record. Oh, I'm such an idiot. It should pop something like up right down here. It looks like this. Right click it, and then fps cap if you want to cap your fps you can do i recommend it no i do not recommend it but you can rec you can um cap your fps like i said i do not recommend it because none is probably the best but uh you also do not want to touch anything else do not touch unlock method don't don't touch any of this because reason being is because up here it says the default is hybrid if you change to something like this or like this you could i'm not sure if you could get banned but it says use this method at your own risk, blah, blah, blah. Risk of detection, you could get banned because of the new Bifron update or whatever. By I don't know how to pronounce it, whatever, not a big deal. But apparently they're banning people for the most random reasons, like uh, Rose Shade and FPS Unlocker, all that stuff. Okay, so with all that out of the way, now let's set up the macro. So when you open up TG Macro, you shouldn't see this. So what you can do is delete it. Well, you, I'm going to delete it for the video, obviously. And then um, press add new macro. Now here, all you want to do here is press um, action type, mouse, or no, keyboard key, press status, and then, well, don't mess with press status. Just click the key. So it's I. Save. Do the same thing with O. Ma keyboard key. Click here to set key O. Save. Boom. Done. Now. Go when it says um, when you could do key hold or key toggle. I recommend key hold. Key toggle is if you press Q and then you macro, you have to press Q again to end the macro. Key hold is whenever you hold Q, the macro does it like it does the thing. So I do key hold, doesn't matter. And now you can check whatever key you want, doesn't matter. And then save it. That's it. But if you don't want to do all that, I will leave it down in the description. I'll leave a file down in the description of um to download the file so you can just put it into tg macro you just put file load project and then drop in the the file that i put in the description and then press enable now you should be able to macro how to macro so how to macro you have to be zoomed in quite a bit maybe up to here or here i'm not 100 percent sure but around this area it's not first person it's not all the way out here so it's like right here to where your lower half is under under your screen unless you play with a higher uh, FOV. So you wanna greet. And when you see your, your hand, touch your head. I don't have a head, but 
when you see it kind of do that animation where it puts it up like that you want to pull out a gun or pull out any item other than a fist so greet boom and as soon as you pull it out you want to put it away so greet that's it so now look the way you want a macro s q you could also crouch with this macro s q and boom that's it it's that easy no timing nothing that, that's the only thing you have to time is this boom but your macro should not mess up like your macro should not get broken unless you take something out so if you're typing typing it doesn't mess up the macro and this also works backwards so if i break the macro real quick obviously it doesn't work lay pull out a gun put it away sq holding someone makes it go way faster i promise you but i have no people in the private server lay boom like that so the faster you do it the faster you go the faster you do the backwards macro the faster you go that is what i've seen so if i do this wait a little bit i mean it's kind of the same speed but you get it i i recommend going fast because if you're in like a fight or something you can just get the hell out of there you know what i mean well not like this but yeah you got you guys get what i mean right so that's pretty much it um some other things you need to make sure you have on is low gfx keep low gfx on um you don't have to but makes it go much faster and then go into your roblox settings and make sure you have your graphics quality set to anything below four i recommend you could have it at five is it going to make it laggy yes it will but it still works somewhat my computer cannot handle that it's like four four works i mean i recommend one or two. Oh god okay never mind my computer just wants to act up right now but you guys get the gist of it right uh here's two a little better but yeah sorry i can't macro i mean my computer really wants to act up today um and I'm not going to go through the, all that stuff. Um, so if you guys like the video, uh, drop a follow or drop a sub, whatever you call it. I'm not big on this platform. Um, like the video, I barely post on this account. I barely post at all. But if you guys like it, um, thank you. I appreciate it. If you guys sub, um, appreciate it. But if you guys need any help, drop a comment. I'll try to help you guys as much as I can. Uh discord i'll drop my discord in the comments or something or and then just let me know and i could try to help you out <clears throat> so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys probably never again